One person was arrested on charges of the vicious beating of a transgender woman in Dallas. More arrests could come as police look into whether this was a hate crime. And Fox 4 Shannon Murray's live at the Dallas County Jail with more. Shannon. Lauren, police arrested one suspect last night after they spent the weekend following tips and canvassing the neighborhood where that attack happened. They are investigating this right now as a possible hate crime. 29 year old Edward Thomas is charged with aggravated assault, causing serious bodily injury. Now, there is cell phone video that shows the mob like attack Friday night. We are only showing photos from that video. Police say a man attacked the transgender woman after she accidentally backed her car into another vehicle outside the Royal Crest Apartments in Southeast Dallas. Other people then joined in, stomping and beating the woman who family later identified as Malaysia Booker. At least two minutes went by until she was pulled away from the crowd. I mean, I just really can't explain it. I just cannot explain how I feel about someone being that mean and evil to someone. How could you do that? They are some low down people to let that happen and then still be a part of it. The ones that were a part of it, I think they're the worst of the lot, but the ones that didn't even try to stop it, they're just as, they're just as guilty as the ones that did it. Well, Booker told the police the attackers yelled homophobic slurs while beating her. Family members say she has a broken wrist, a swollen face, and she is in a lot of pain, but she's home from the hospital now and recovering. On social media, Booker thanked her supporters over the weekend, but says she is not ready to speak out publicly quite yet. Reporting live in Dallas, Shannon Murray for Good Day.